Thanks to School in Hollywood, you probably think that you know your stuff when it comes to space. Well, the truth is that there are some really persistent myths and lies that most people still believe about space. I'm Crunchy Knot, and these are the five myths you still believe about space. Myth number five is that Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, and therefore must be the hottest planet in our solar system. Well, the truth is that this is simply a lie that you were probably told in school. While it is true that Mercury is the closest planet to the sun in our solar system, this does not make it the hottest. In most cases, the composition of a planet's atmosphere has more effect on the planet's temperature than its distance from its parent star. Because Mercury has an almost negligible atmosphere, the average temperature on the planet is only 430 degrees Celsius. And because Mercury has no atmosphere to retain that heat, nighttime temperatures on the surface can drop to negative 170 degrees Celsius, which makes the coldest regions on Earth look temperate in comparison. The actual hottest planet in our solar system is Venus. Because its dense atmosphere causes a runaway greenhouse gas effect, the average temperature on Venus is a much hotter 462 degrees Fahrenheit, making this hellish planet the hottest planet in our solar system. Myth number four is that a person who is exposed to the vacuum of space will explode. While most people quite accurately assume that this is true because the human body has adapted to life within Earth's atmosphere, the truth is actually much stranger. While there are no recorded cases of anyone being exposed to the vacuum of space, we do have an idea of what would happen if you found yourself in a vacuum without a spacesuit. First, you would begin to feel as if your tongue and skin were boiling. Then you would feel a massive swelling sensation just before falling unconscious. However, the good news is that none of this would cause you to immediately explode. Human skin is tough enough to withstand the vacuum of space. It's likely that a healthy person could survive in one form or another for up to two minutes in space without a spacesuit, though the absolute limits of this are uncertain. Myth number three is that there is a dark side of the moon. This myth simply isn't true. When we talk about the dark side of the moon, people are usually referring to the side that is never visible from the surface of the Earth. However, the truth is that the moon is actually tidally locked with our planet. Because of this, we can only ever see one side of the moon from the Earth's surface. However, the other side of the moon, or the so-called dark side of the moon, does in fact receive sunlight quite regularly. The confusion is only caused because, from the Earth's perspective, one side of the moon is always lit, and one side of the moon is always shrouded in darkness. So there really isn't a dark side of the moon. This is simply just a myth. Myth number two is that the Earth is round. Unless you're one of those people out there that believes the Earth is flat, this should seem as an obvious truth. But the truth is that, if you were told in school that the Earth is round, you've been lied to. You've probably heard the Earth be called things like a sphere, a globe, or even a ball. Well, it would be much more accurate to call the Earth a geoid, or an oblate spheroid, which is something close to, but not quite exactly the same as a sphere. The Earth is actually a very rough and uneven body with it being wider at the equator and flatter at the poles. So in reality, the Earth on a grand scale resembles a misshapen balloon or even a pear, more than it resembles a billiard ball. Myth number one is that the sun is yellow. If you were asked to draw a picture of the sun, it's likely that you'd immediately reach for a yellow crayon or marker. If you did this, you certainly aren't alone, as most depictions in all kinds of media portray the sun as yellow. Unfortunately, if you think the sun is yellow, you're, well, mostly wrong. It's more a matter of perspective. The only reason why the sun appears to be yellow on the surface of the Earth is because of how light is reflected within the Earth's atmosphere. The sun actually emits all colors on the visible spectrum, and is, as a result, white in color, at least when viewed while in space. And of course, if you're still skeptical, there are a multitude of pictures and videos taken from space that confirm that the sun is, in fact, white not yellow. For more top lists just like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out our other lists. And thanks for watching, and thanks for learning.